Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Apple TV. In this episode specifically, we're going to take a deeper look into the settings menu on the Apple TV. To get to the settings options, go over to the settings column on your main menu screen. You see a few different options here. Let's start with general. So the first option here is about, and this just gives you information strictly about your Apple TV, your serial number, software version, what Wi-Fi you're on, and the name of your device itself. Hit menu to get back out. If we want to change the name, we can click on Name, and we can choose one of these uh, options that's already pre-installed, or we can choose Custom and then type it in specifically. So if I want to make this Global Hermit, I can change it here. Over to Network, we've looked at this before. This is how you set up your networking. Check out the part uh, of the series on networking for more information on that. Same with iTunes Store. We set that up in one of the earlier parts. This is where you add your ID. Parental Controls allows you to control the different types of content that can be viewed by the various members of your family. So you can click on parental controls, turn them on, and enter a password here so that only people with that password can get into things that are protected. So we're going to just choose a simple 9000 and then done. Re-enter it. And we'll choose 9000 and done. I'll give you a little bit of a warning there. And now you can choose the various options here. I don't want my kids looking at Netflix, so we can change the various option from show, hide completely, or ask. So it'll ask you for the passcode in that case. I'm going to turn off the parental controls again, like so. Now it's wide open. Anything is available to everybody that accesses the Apple TV. Remotes here allows you to change how you control your system. So we've got this remote here. That's the one that comes in the box. We can unpair it or we can pair another remote to it in case this one dies and we need a new one. So we'll go through like so. So we unpair this one. Or we can add, in this case, a remote app. And we'll look at this in another episode of the series where we can use your iPhone or iPad to control the Apple TV. Going to update software here, we'll show you whether or not your firmware for the Apple TV is in date or out of date. And then you can update it if it needs it have the option for sleeping after however many hours or minutes. Or you can set it to never go to sleep or you can do it after 15 minutes. And I'll just save a bit of power. Sending data to Apple here, this will determine what kind of information it sends back to Apple, your usage statistics, that sort of thing. If you're concerned about your privacy, you can change this to no and click select. You also choose your language from the general setting. So we're going to choose English, but you have a few other options here. Here's the legalese. It's a little bit boring, your terms of use and acknowledgments. So if you're really, really interested, you can go through looking through that. Or you can go to reset. This will either remove all of the personalized settings you have on this, or it'll restore it all the way back to factory setting, which will get rid of absolutely everything on this. And we don't want to do that now, so we'll hit the menu system. So that's the general menu. Then we can go back over here to the settings. We have the screensaver, which we looked at in the Flickr thing. We can set uh, what we show as our screensaver. Audio and video gives you a few options here as to how audio and video is handled in the various applications here, whether or not you repeat it. Sound check will even up the volume to a more even level throughout so that you don't get any blasts. Sound effects will determine you know, whether you have beeps and clicks when you move forward from item to item. Dolby Digital Audio Language, all those things you can choose from the audio and video thing. AirPlay. AirPlay allows you to set a password here so that you can't just get on to other computers around the network or from them to your Apple TV. You actually need to enter a password before you can use it. And you can choose whether or not the AirPlay speaker is on or off from this option as well. Computer setting allows you to turn off home sharing or turn it on. If you haven't turned it on before, this is where you would do it. And you also have the option here to go to sleep now. So when you're done, you can click the select, and it will send your Apple TV to sleep. And you can revive that by pressing your menu again, and it'll turn it back on, like so. Let's look at the settings menu on the Apple TV. Don't forget to check out the show notes for this part in the series at butterscotch.com, as well as the show notes for all the other parts in this series.